Welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a Lorraine 15551. It's the tier 8 French SPG. This one's located on the south spawn of Live Oaks and it's under the command of Rollin 5 of Signo. And he's not the only one on his, in his platoon. He's also got Goldfish Eater 87 in an Indian Panzer. Game on. Well, there's Goldfish, and it looks like he's heading up the railway line. Uh, that's good because uh, you can see Rollin 5 is going to protect the railway from his position that he's going to. Now, this is one of the faster arties in the game. It's got a top speed of 60 kilometers an hour, and that's partially because it's based on the Lorraine 40 ton tank. Unfortunately, it never got produced, so this RT never got produced, but it would have been quite interesting because it would have been a very fast RT moving around the battlefield. First target, TVP VTU, not fully dialed in yet, which is why he hasn't shot. In fact, he's found a better target, an LT432, who's hiding just behind that house. Now, I think he's gone the other side of the house now, but he's going to lay the round in and hopefully... Oh, he didn't stay to look. All slap on wrist. You know how annoyed that makes some of the viewers when they can't see what happens to the shell when it lands. It really does frustrate them because, of course, then they don't know if you hit the other guy or not. So you have to stay and watch the shell. Otherwise, we won't do your replays. Simple as that. Well, he's looking at the CS-52 list now. But he's lost sight of him. Our teammates are not spotting as well. But he's found an AT-15. He can hit that one. His platoon mate hasn't moved down with the other tanks at the moment. And he's done it again. He's looked away. Now, we do know that it did actually cause some damage. But it didn't land on the target. You can see that because it said it was close. It wasn't a direct hit. Now, Rollin, you know the rules. If you don't look, you won't get your replay. Okay. Waiting for the CS-52 list to come up. Fires the round in. Now he's looking. And now we can see we did get some splash. 48 hit points and stun assist off that one. Please. He's not indicating the targets. This is a fault I find with a lot of RT players who could do better if they indicate to their teammates which tank they actually want to be struck. You do that normally by using the T key. You put the T key over the target, hit the T key, uh, or put the rescue all over the target rather, and then hit the T key. And that marks the target with a symbol which indicates to your teammates which one you want struck. Now, during battles, I find a lot of tank players will indicate the target they want to be damaged and they hope that if they put the tiki over and they indicate somebody will notice and help them you see like that somebody is now notified on that one and they want help on the Lorraine 40 ton tank it was the LHMTV who asked for help but you didn't respond you see if you'd responded to say to the LHMTV I'm listening to you I will provide support and you mark the target then they know they're being listened to and they're more likely to help you because they'll start hitting the targets you mark as well that progetto is really badly damaged rounds out landed just in front it he didn't leave the target there you need to give a bit of lead when the target's pulling back okay he's moving up and getting closer to the target, that helps as well because, of course, it shortens the time between you firing and the shell arriving. Remember, it's only a two-second gap at the moment. You can see there on the reticule, so there's two seconds between you and the target. That was right in front of him. Oh, we got stun assist off that one. It looks like that Progetto got struck by the FV-207 just after we fired him, and he was wiped out. So, it, that did help. Okay, now mark the targets at the IS-22. Right over the other side. Gets a hit. And he got 230 hit points. 445 stun afterwards. There's the LC-432. The one that uh, we fired at at the first side of the battlefield. 
and we didn't get to see if that guy did suffer any damage from our shot but he is now out of the game because the boar sig finished him off okay the is 2-2 again rounds out this could hit it does engine deck he got the engine deck for 323 Rollins looking now he's actually watching he's involved in the battle he's watching to see where his shells go enemy tank spotted there the AT-15A there's the enemy arty over the other side he's on the road he's changing position he knows he's been spotted round goes out he is stunned there's the other arty two arty on the enemy team they've also got a Lorraine 15551 who's just suddenly gone around the corner to protect himself the M40 has just failed on his shotgun and the Barask is in reload. That's why he didn't shoot straight away. But he's fired his first one and he gets his second shot to kill the M40, M43. The Lorraine's probably loaded by now. But if we can put the shell in and he didn't look. Rollin. Well, he did splash the guy, which will have stunned the Lorraine. And hopefully that'll make it easier for the Barask to get a kill. But I'm not sure he's going to be stunned by the time the Barass fires. Okay, the reason we're leaving here and moving forward is the enemy is in our cap area. And we need to get the hell out of here. Unfortunately, the other RT on our team has been wiped out. Now, we're following a Scorpion. Or we were following a Scorpion. There's a bunch of enemy tanks trying to make their way into, our, into, our, um, into the enemy cap area. And the enemy RT is supposedly still there. We can't see him. Okay, our platoon mate's up there as well. Scorpion suddenly spotted. He's following him. The Yudas gets wiped out. Can we get the kill shot? Line it up. Rounds out. Looks good. It is good. 280. Splash. He needs to keep moving. Don't stay still. Our G-Saw is protecting the cap area, but we can't afford be complacent because the enemy could actually uh, get advantage and come up behind us the scorpion is a one shot okay we're almost loaded we could get the kill here that's the spot he was fired on the last time there he is we have been spotted rounds out kill shot yes now we need to move the ELC just saw us and so in fact, actually, he's changing direction. He's going back to help the G-Saw. Now, remember, we'll be slower going through the water, but he's... No, he's changed his mind. All of our attack force just got wiped out, including our platoon mate. And they're all coming south. So it's five against two now. But we can get a kill shot. Rounds out. He's failed to stay and watch. The Skoda got wiped out. Okay, so he's now moving because, of course, the enemy's coming south to try and kill us. There's the LC. Rollins going to try and help the G-Saw. Yes, unfortunately, that water really does slow down the Lorraine. It's a big, heavy howitzer, but this vehicle really can move it if it needs to. The G-Saw is crossing the railway line coming our way. I guess he wants to fend off the enemy when they get close. And we've got a tree there we can use as cover. In fact, two trees. Both been knocked down. And here comes the enemy. Okay, the first one, the Rain 40 ton. We're almost fully dialed in. Unfortunately, the bridge is going to be in the way. So it's best not to shoot until he's close. We've lost sight of him. G-Saw's probably going to have to take him on his own. We don't know where the ELC is. The ELC's just alongside us. There he is. One shot. Takes him out. Close range shotgun. He didn't see us until it was too late. And then he got wiped out by a big hit. Oh, and the enemy RT tries to get us as well. But only gets 10 hit points. Now, we can shotgun this the rain. If he stays where he is, we can't get a shot, but... The bridge is in the way, but we're now loaded, so we can shoot at this guy if he comes under the bridge. We've got no gun depression on this thing. It's It really is poor on gun depression, but we're looking there to see if we could aim onto him. 
going to change position. If we get across the railway line, we might be able to get a shot. Lorraine stuns us again. Standard reload for this RT is um, 28.76 seconds. But it suddenly popped up to 32. Now it's 23.56. Now we're all alone against two enemies. The Lorraine, 40 ton, and the other Lorraine, the 15551. He's around about there. Oh, he got him with one shot. He just took out the enemy Lorraine, 40 ton, with one shot. Now it's RT versus RT. Got to say it that uh, the G saw did a fantastic job taking out the other enemy tanks. So now it's RT versus RT, and the better player will win. Both of us have lost some hit points because the Lorraine, if I remember correctly, was targeted by Rolling Five. Remember, he did get one shot off. He didn't get the direct hit, and he looked away after he fired. But we do know that he splashed him, and he must have stunned him. And here comes the enemy RT. We're loaded. Is he going to go for the aim? He's manually aiming it. Okay, now what's the other guy going to do? He's going to have to do something. He can't stay there. When he fires one round in manually, that's probably not the right thing to do. But remember, here comes the enemy RT. Now he's backing up. We're not so fast backing up. Only 14 kilometers an hour. And he's loaded, remember. Oh, he tries the shotgun and it fails. And we we will get the advantage now. We can fire and win, but we don't want to fire too close to the enemy. <laughs> well, he did anyway. He lost some hit points in the process, but it's a victory. And he's won. Well, that was a very exciting end to the battle for Rollin 5 in the Lorraine 15551. He got a first class tanker out of that game, as well as a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 15 and he got a fighter badge because he managed to get at least four kills. In fact, he got five, one short of getting a top gun and one third of the enemy team. In fact, he killed the last two enemy tanks on the enemy team. And although it wasn't the way I would have anticipated doing it, he did get the victory in the end. Uh, you're better off not shooting so close to the enemy tank because the HE splash could take you out as well. And if that was to happen, you would end up with a draw rather than getting a victory. But he did manage to survive the explosion. And in doing so, he won the game for his team. Uh, and that's quite a victory as well, especially exciting at the end because it was two versus one at one point. The Lorraine 40 ton, uh, well, the, the Yeesaw did a great job trying to fend off the enemy tanks, but it left him with a two versus one, that uh, Lorraine 40 ton, and he managed to guess correctly that the guy was moving backwards and forwards in the same area, and he lobbed the shell in and took out the guy with a blind shot. And then he found the enemy RT. Not the best way to take down the enemy RT, though. He fired off around manually. What he should have done, actually, I think would have been better, is to back out of the area, manually disengage, and then come round on him from a different flank. That way, he, you get the, um, the chance to actually um, catch him unawares, uh, because he managed to see you the moment you saw him. But as it is, it still worked out okay. Um, after he'd fired, you could have rammed him once more to take him out with a ram rather than an HE round. But backing off, to try backing off a bit more and then opening the range before you fire so you don't blow up in the process. <laughs> but anyway, let's have a look at team score. OK, well, he didn't get the highest damage in the game because that went to the G-Saw 1008, who managed to get a fire for effect and a bruiser, but he didn't get the high caliber out of that game. 2,876 hit points went to him. Second highest damage went to his platoon mate, Goldfish Eater 87 Signo. He managed to get 2,658 hit points. And the third highest damage in the game actually went to the Bat Chat Brask, who managed 2,628 hit points. Now, we can see that Rollin 5, who got the victory, got 1,823 hit points. But he was actually beaten on hit points by three members of the enemy team, three members of his own team which puts him in seventh place on damage. When it came to kills, though, he's top. He got five kills in the game. Four kills went to the IS-22 on the enemy team. Remember, he did get a lovely shot on that guy's engine deck. Um, three kills went to the Baraskin third place. And when it came to base XP, 
He's in second place. The Brass got 1,066. Rollin 5 got 997. And in third place, it's the Type 59 with 977. And this is Platoon Mate Goldfish Eater with 844. He fired 17 rounds, which is a decent amount of ammo to get a good result. Five direct hits on the enemy, two penetrating shots, and 14 splash. Well, did we see all of those penetrating shots? Well, we didn't see it because it was a blind hit, but it was the Lorraine 40 ton. He did penetrate him right through the side of the vehicle with a 155 millimeter round. And the other one, of course, was the Lorraine 15551 right at the end because his barrel was basically right inside the Lorraine when it actually went off. Um, but uh, yes, he, he just needs to back off just a little bit, please. Uh, that way you don't get caught in the blast circle, in the blast radius. Anyway, um, in the rest of them, he got 14 splashes, 1,823 hit points of damage, of which 1,630 were at more than 300 meters. The close shots were on the Lorraine 40 ton and on the Lorraine 15551. He did receive one hit and he did receive three hits by way of splash. Um, two of those came from the Lorraine one. In fact, actually all three of them came from the Lorraine 15551. The last one didn't finish him off, but could have from the Lorraine. Yes, because if he got close enough and got the shell on target, he might have been able to do it, but he didn't. Nine enemy vehicles damaged, five killed, 863 hit points of stun assist off 10 stuns. On a premium count, he actually made a profit of 6,405 credits. He also took away 4,712 experience points out of that one as well. Uh, and he got a bonus for being in platoon and for tactical training uh, as well. What a great ending to the game that was. Very dangerous thing, though. I would please, please back off after you. If you know you're the last one, you know that you're going to get the last shot because uh, the enemy is so close. They've already fired. They've blown their wad. Then back off just a little bit and shoot him from a little further away. That way you don't get caught. But um, we did see earlier today uh, a, a video I put out featuring um, Talon where he actually fired at very close range with an 8 inch howitzer. But unfortunately, the shell missed the target altogether. So he went in for the ram kill. You could have done that with the Lorraine, but. Uh, um, the worry is, of course, the blast radius. And please, Rollin, do watch what happens to your shells. It's very important to see what happens, because if you get a blind hit, you'll know it because you'll see the shell disappear without any um, explosion. But if you don't hit the target, obviously, you know then that you've got to make a correction and you fire or um, you may need to pick a different target to get a better hit or a, a different aim. But please don't look away because otherwise you spoil the game for the people who want to see how well you're doing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.